In example 5, we'll start talking about the inverse tan function. When restricted to a domain of negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, notice this time we have the parentheses, which means the negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 are not included. And that's because there's asymptotes at negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. The tangent function is 1 to 1. It is on the restricted domain that the tangent function has an inverse function called the inverse tangent function, notated by y equals tan to the negative 1 of x, or arc tangent function, y equals the arc tan of x. The graph of the inverse function, the inverse tangent function, is found by reflecting the graph of the restricted tangent function in the line y equals x. Notice that unlike sine and cosine, the domain of the inverse tangent function is from negative infinity to positive infinity. So if we take a look at the picture right here, we're restricting our tangent function in between these two asymptotes. So from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, but not including either one. And our range is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Remember that tangent function keeps going in both directions. So if we take a look at the inverse tan function, our domain is going to go from negative infinity to positive infinity, and our range is going to be restricted between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So let's write that down really quick. So for our inverse function, the domain goes from negative infinity to positive infinity, and our range goes from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. And remember, pi over 2 and negative pi over 2 are not included in that. Then if we scroll down to the box below, it says you can also use the unit circle to find the value of an inverse tangent expression. On the unit circle, tangent of t is the sine of t divided by the cosine of t, or you can think about it as y divided by x. The values of the inverse tan will be located on the right half of the unit circle, just like your sine function. But it does not include negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 because the tangent function is undefined at those points. So the tan function is going to be very, very similar to the sine function, except for the fact that at pi over 2 and negative pi over 2, we are not including those points. So if we have x greater than 0, so x is positive, then y is between 0 and pi over 2. And remember, we are not including pi over 2. So we are right here, which is quadrant number 1. We can include this point right here, which is 0, but we cannot include the pi over 2. So we would use angles like pi over 3, pi over 4, pi over 6. Now, if we go and look if x is less than 0, so if x is negative, then y is between negative pi over 2 and 0, which means we would be in the fourth quadrant, just like our sine graph. We, would not, we could also use 0 again, but we are not going to be using negative pi over 2. So the only axis you can use is 0. None of the other ones fit in. And so if we're in that fourth quadrant, again, between negative pi over 2 and 0, we're thinking of angles like negative pi over 3, negative pi over 4, negative pi over 6. If you have questions, let me know.